uh, geekiest thing uh, would have to be my Warhammer stuff. Hello everybody, welcome. This is just a quick video because Henry Cavill has confirmed that big things are happening with Warhammer 40,000. You may or may not remember that this was announced a couple of years ago that Henry Cavill was getting involved in Warhammer 40,000 or Warhammer 40k and he was going to produce and write and star in it and it was going to be an Amazon Prime production. Are you serious? I mean, just that very sentence might strike fear into the hearts of many a fan. <laughs> Given what they did with the Lord of the Rings travesty. That is one big pile of shit. People weren't happy with Wheel of Time, the adaptation from the books. Put another gay diverse woman in it, make it more fucking lame! Stirred a lot of unrest amongst fans. Passionate fans, I might add. Toxic, toxic, toxic fandom. I just consider that passionate. Don't think I've ever played the games. You can play them on PC. Originally, it's a it's a board game where you roll the dice and you move your figures. And there's a few animations kicking around that were made by the I think it's Warhammer TV produce stories and animations. There were novels as well. I've never read any, but a friend of mine. Ray, if you're out there, shout out to Ray. I know Ray's read a few of the novels and he said they were exceptional. But it goes on to say that Henry Cavill has given a brief but positive update on the progress of his fascinating Warhammer 40,000 adaptation for Amazon. In late 2022, Cavill was also announced as leading and producing a prime video-backed adaptation of Warhammer. In the wake of his contentious departures from the roles of Superman and The Witcher, Cavill, while promoting his latest film Argyle, spoke with Collider Steve Weintraub and was able to offer a brief but encouraging update on the status of the project. Warhammer is progressing very well. Big things are happening and we are very excited. But if he's in charge, you're not going to get any bullshit. You're not going to get any meandering from the original source material. For a modern audience, fuck off. I've been involved in the Warhammer world for since I was probably 10. It says that Prime Video has invested heavily in fantasy series already. We know that, don't we? We know that only too well. Yeah! Perhaps most notably in the case of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, which was a massive gamble for the streamer, which paid off handsomely. The bullshit! Did it fuck? It was an absolute bag of shite. People were tuning out every week. Put a chicken in it and make it fucking gay as fuck. People were tuning out after four episodes. I think I got up to three and a half and I just threw me telly out the window. What an absolute can of, of shit cake. <coughs> Where do you get your statistics from? It goes on to say Cavill is an ideal fit for the role. He is. His passion shines through whenever he talks about it. He even spent the lockdown period of the, the pandemic decorating Warhammer figurines. Cavill expressed his excitement at taking part in the franchise, revealing that he was a lifelong fan. You you paint is it War of War, World of Warcraft? Uh, Warhammer. Warhammer. I'm a yep. fool. Uh, <laughs> Warhammer, great. <laughs> okay, Warhammer. Uh, so what? So you 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 paint by hand? Yes. Yeah. And it says right there, I have loved Warhammer since I was a boy. Since I was probably ten. Making this moment truly special for me. The opportunity to shepherd this cinematic universe from its inception is quite the honour and the responsibility. I couldn't be more grateful for all the hard work put in by Vertigo, Amazon and Games Workshop to make this happen. One step closer to making a nigh on lifelong dream come true. This is going to be great, isn't it? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, eyes crossed, legs crossed. And then it just finishes off a brief a brief history of Warhammer 40,000, if you don't really know what it is. Warhammer 40,000 or Warhammer 40k. It's a tabletop miniature war game. It was created by Games Workshop. The game is set in a dystopian science fiction universe in the distant future. It says there's been a few attempts at adapting the game in other media. Though none have reached the level of mainstream success as the game itself. Ultramarines. A Warhammer 40,000 movie was released in 2010. It was a director DVD animated film. It featured the Ultramarines. It was considered some of the more iconic chapters in the game universe. Also, a series was produced by the Warhammer TV team. It was entitled Angels of Death, and that was released in 2021. If you want to go and search for that somewhere, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. That's pretty much it, really. It's just kind of talking about how excited and how passionate Henry Cavill is about this project and I'm right there with him and I'm sure some of you are as well if you're if you're a fan of Warhammer 40,000 or you, if you paint the figurines or you play the board game or you've played on the PC version you'll know what it's all about and you'll 
if you know Henry Cavill, you know how passionate he is and how much of a massive nerd he is. I can't wait for this to come out. I can't wait to hear what you think of it. Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for joining me once again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now. Then you'd better put a chicken in and make it fucking gay as fuck.